Reviewing uh, some footage of maybe some surveillance tape that may be happening in the area. Uh, and we think that maybe this student had maybe an altercation with another student, but it certainly was not anything remotely resembling uh, an abduction or even an attempted abduction. So uh, as it stands right now, it does appear that that's going to be unfounded. And at most, it may be uh, two children uh, they got into a little bit of an altercation, but uh, we're not even sure that actually happened. So, sure. If you have zero tolerance when people threaten people at school and stuff like that, do you have the same tolerance for when when an incident like this occurs? Well, obviously, we're going to we're going to work hard to uh, you know make sure that this young person's held accountable. Uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult when the person's very young, preteen, young. Uh, but we certainly are going to be talking with the uh, state attorney and determine what, if any, charges are appropriate. We did uh, obviously bring out a tremendous amount of resources there. Uh, we already had a tremendous amount of resources at another scene, so it certainly uh, maybe put a lot of lives in danger by spreading us as thin as it did. But, uh, but I am happy to report that the uh, people who live in that subdivision, it does appear to be totally unfounded, so they don't have anything at this point to worry about this particular situation. Can you give us a little idea about the victim? I know, you know we're not going to ask you your name, or, but now that you are close, seem to be closing this out, male, female, age? A actually, I, I guess I could say it was a preteen. Um, I believe I heard them say it was a male preteen. But uh, that's all we're going to release at this moment, so. Okay. And I'll, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and ask. About this? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I, I actually wasn't rolling on that. I was just sending it back so I could use a little bit in this sure. case. Can you just give us the, I mean, obviously we know you guys are questioning two people at this time. What what happens now? Where do you go from here? You mean on, on this case on here? On this case here. Well, obviously we have a, uh, a suspect uh, or a person of interest in custody. Uh, we're pretty confident that the person was involved uh, based on our preliminary information. Um, depending on uh, what kind of uh, um, admissions that person will make will obviously be very important in this case, but we are interviewing witnesses, anybody who may have been on the scene at the time it occurred. Uh, we're in the process, as we speak, of writing several search warrants uh, for uh, uh, buildings and or vehicles that may be involved or may have evidence in them. Uh, and it, so for se the next several hours, we'll be doing doing that. Okay. And um, you talked that you said that this is fam we're learning that this is family related. It does appear to be at least a, a couple of the uh, main people involved in the situation, both the, the victim and the primary person of interest, uh, appear to be a, a familial uh, relationship there. And do we have an update on the person who went to the hospital? The no, I haven't. Uh, I haven't gotten any update yet. Uh, I did hear the person was transported to a trauma center. Uh, and uh, from what I heard about the initial reports, it sounds very serious, but that's all I know. And the apprehension of uh, your person in custody, he ran from deputies, didn't he? Yeah, he actually ran from deputies and he was armed with a, uh, with a gun. Uh, fortunately, uh, he did not uh, point it at one of my deputies. I did hear from one of my captains who was uh, right there when it occurred. Uh, apparently he dropped the gun. Uh, it appears maybe even accidentally as he was running before they actually made contact with him, which is probably a good thing or we might have uh, had a, a deputy involved shooting here. But uh, I'm happy to report that no deputies were injured and I don't think this, uh, the uh, person of interest that was taken into custody was injured either. So. So you said he had a he had the gun on him as he took off, but he dropped it at some point. Well, he dropped it. Actually, of... they saw him drop it as okay. they were chasing him. So it uh, I don't know if it fell out of his waistband or or what, but uh, at least that's the initial report I got from one of the deputies that was on. Actually, one of my captains that was on the scene right when the guy was taken down. I mean, he was right there. So they so. saw him drop the gun as they were chasing yeah, and, him. And he was thankful that that happened because it could have been much worse, obviously. Okay. All right. Thank you.